Well, hi, welcome back guys. Right as I decide to film, upstairs start making a racket. Fantastic. Tell you what, let's just make sure that my lens is clean. Often not. Welcome back to the vlogs. We're at home today. I feel like I'm not really back in the swing of, of everything just yet. I kind of started back properly at like a working day environment today after having an amazing christmas and a great new year in dubai if you've watched that video we had a really really great time in dubai and before that we we're in mauritius and before oh god knows before that but i know we just got back from switzerland so i feel like i've not really been in my house vlogging with you guys in a while and i realize i realize that i have i have not filmed a sit down video in quite some time and i mean it's partly because i've, I've literally had no time at all we literally went from mauritius we got home went straight back to my mum's house in wigan and then came back next day went to dubai came back so i actually haven't really had any time at home to kind of film for you guys but i promise that more videos are coming i would love though your thoughts on what you do want to see because i really enjoy doing the fashion videos but i find that you guys prefer to watch well it would seem from the views that you guys prefer to watch my vlogs more than you do my fashion videos now so i'm just a bit reluctant to put so much time and effort into creating videos that maybe you're not as bothered about anymore I mean I completely get it if you're you know not as bothered anymore about a certain type of video I want to see something else from me but just let me know I'd love like your thoughts on it and what you want to see more so but today I really feel like I've got my mojo back I I mean I've got a bit of a I'm piling on the work to myself I'll be honest because not just with things fit in the throat but um, I'm planning the wedding this year. It's gonna be in August, hopefully. So I've got a lot to plan. I have my wedding planner. She's called Annabelle. She works at Pro First. She's wonderful. So we've been chatting about the wedding and how we're gonna make it work. Seeing the hotel manager of the venue on Thursday to chat through all everything. So hopefully on Thursday I'll know much more and I'll be able to kind of get working on everything because I can't order flowers or cakes or anything until I even know the venue and I can't get everyone to book their, their plane flights until I know the venue properly and the actual time and oh, it's very stressful. But in honesty, I'm really enjoying the wedding planning and all I keep thinking to myself is, I get one shot at planning this wedding. After this is done, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna feel that disappointment that every bride feels after the wedding is finished and it's been incredible and you've been on top of the world and suddenly you come crashing back down and you realize that you've not got another wedding to ever plan again. Well, hopefully. So honestly, I am really making the most of every single moment I am working on this wedding and I'm actually really, really enjoying it. And if you kind of go into it, this positive mind frame, I find you get a lot more out of it. I'm not becoming stressed about stuff. I'm trying to see the silver lining with a lot of things to be like right that can't happen and this will have to happen I'm just trying to see it much more in that kind of headspace rather than getting stressed and being like oh for god's sake this isn't working blah 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 and that's actually really really helped me with my with my mental state at the moment so highly recommend that if you're new if you're newly engaged as well and then I'm also searching for a house again and and then I recently moved accountants so I've been doing a few massive things recently which means that I speak I'm speaking to solicitors mortgage brokers accountants lawyers solicitors and web wedding planners, hotel managers, all this stuff, all these different people for all these different things that are happening in my life. So um, <laughs> I don't help myself very much, do I? In fact, I've just written a new blog post. Um, so I kind of don't want to go in too much about 2019 and what I'm expecting because I've kind of written it all down. On Sunday, I got really inspired. I wrote a big blog post about my kind of thought processes right now and how I'm feeling and what I intend to do this year in order to make things a little easier for myself, more manageable um, and to get more done. So if you do want to kind of read about that, then it's on it's on in the fro.com. I'll leave it linked and it'll be down, down, downstairs and be down below. Um, yeah, but pretty much, yeah, I just want a more manageable lifestyle this year. I want to feel on top of my work. I'm definitely going to do less travel because although the travel last year was absolutely incredible and I got lots of amazing experiences out of it, it did kind of hinder my workflow a little bit. I mean, luckily not that much because I got a hell of a lot done like last year was my most amazing year yet, but still I feel like I could do more this year if I do a little less travel. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also taking Mondays and Fridays as desk days to be at my office and do emails and thoughts and ideas and creative processes and editing and filming. So, you know, I'm putting things into 
into place. And the main thing, I mean, I'm currently in my sports bra because I've been in this all day. I'm back on the fitness bandwagon, as is everyone in January, but with the wedding coming up, I feel I've got eight months now to really get myself in the best shape of my entire life. Not just in shape, but in terms of health and nutrition and also my, just, just mentally as well. So, and a lot of that is through me, through fitness. I find that I'm a much happier, much more inspired person when I'm working out and I feel good about myself, my body and my health. So I am really, really inspired right now with the fitness. So I've been going to the gym every single day pretty much. I've been eating well. I mean, I never eat meat. I haven't eaten meat in three years, but I'm not eating dairy right now and I'm not eating sugar. I'm just, you know, having a bit of a detox down. So we'll see how that goes. It's not for everyone, understand, but that's what I'm doing for me because um, I am very much addicted to sugar. That's one bad thing about my diet for sure. So I'm just going to see if that can kind of help me kick a little bit of the issue that I'm having but anyway that's what's going on right now guys I thought I'd just do a really quick update because I've not really seen you in ages so I went for a workout today and that's why I'm in my gym kit but I also had this breakout and I'm getting a breakout here as well I don't know if it's because I've been going to the gym more sometimes I find the more I go to the gym the more I have the odd sporadic spot breakout anyway so I thought I'd bring you into the bathroom especially because mainly because this is where I was about to go and it's the best light and um, also because I'm about to do just a bit of a skincare routine and today I have this to try um, so L'Oreal wanted me to show you guys this so I thought we could try it out together I've done this a few times and you guys seem to like it so this is the L'Oreal Paris Smooth Sugars Wake Up Scrub it's brand new it's added to their existing three sugar scrub range this would probably be even more suited for the morning with it being a wake up scrub because it'll kind of the caffeine inside of this will really kind of revitalize and energize the skin but with this, I really wanted to scrub my face tonight and really have like a really good pamper night. So I thought that's why I'd try it with you here. Um, so this is the packaging. This is what it looks like. I've got one in the full packaging as well. Three fine sugars. It's got coffee grains in there. So that caffeine is just going to wake up the skin amazingly. It's got almond oil and it's also got coconut oil. And the idea is when you put it onto your face, the sugars will kind of melt down. You can kind of scrub as you go. So the coconut oil will soften the skin. The almond oil will kind of perk up the skin. And then the coffee grains are going to re-energise and kind of stimulate the circulation in the face. So it does sound actually really, really great. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Ooh, it's almost like Marmite. Ooh, literally smells like morning coffee. If that doesn't wake you up, then nothing will. It's almost a bit like chocolatey coffee. Macchiato. Oh God, I'd love a macchiato right now. Let's have a look at the texture. Ooh, so it's sort of a little bit kind of goopy. So it says to apply it to the skin. Wow, it really is like strong coffee mixed with like cocoa granules or something. I'm just going to add it everywhere like i'm really just feeling in need of a pamper do you know you just really fancy giving yourself a good treat i would also get in the bath but in honesty i tanned yesterday and i don't want to lose my tan quite yet <laughs> although i would absolutely love a bath do you know that's one thing i've been doing a lot actually for me as a kind of like me thing is taking more baths not so late though because i used to take baths really late after i've done everything else and then just too late and then can't enjoy them because i'm too busy thinking i need to be in bed whereas if i get a good bath at like 8 p.m put on the candles watch some gossip girl by the way in my last vlog from switzerland i mentioned that I was watching Gossip Girl and I was at the last season. I thought season five was the very last season. It's not. Season six is last season. I literally was getting to the end of season five and I was like watching it and watching it trying to get to the end. And then I was like, how are they going to wrap this up? Too much is happening. Like there's too many open stories here. And then I realised there was another season. So I'm still on it, guys. I'm still on it. Much like episode three or four. Hopefully by the time you see this, I will have finished it. Although I am actually really enjoying watching it at the gym. I just get on the treadmill for my run and just watch Gossip Girl. Good though, keeps my keeps my mind off everything else. So it says to put this on. Oh, it says to put your lips on. Okay, now it does say to add a small amount to the face and lips, but I've kind of gone full full hog here because I was talking to you. <laughs> Never mind, I'm sure it's probably fine. It says after you close the product, I'm gonna do that just because I don't want to ruin it. Right, so and then it says to add a bit of water and then massage in. So I'm guessing that then she's just gonna kind of remove any dull and dead skin cells and it'll just, yeah, I have definitely had too much, I'm afraid. <laughs> but it's fine, we can work with this, guys. It's totally fine. It feels really nice. This is exactly what I wanted, just something that felt like it's a little bit exfoliating. And then these sugars, 
the sugar is just going to melt into the skin and then I'm just kind of, it'll just be the coffee grains that I'm using to kind of scrub away any tired dead skin. Let me get that spot. I'm just going to use my uh, my little face halo. Just wipe all away. I mean, if you don't want to do that, you can just rinse it away with, with warm water. No joke, super soft now. That feels so nice. And that's giving me a good base now for adding my uh, moisturizers and stuff on top. Okay, so that's great. It's available at Boots, so I will leave a link down below to Boots, but even if you're just wandering past your local Boots, you might wanna have a little peek. That is unbelievable how soft my skin feels. It literally feels like a baby's bum right now. Right, I'm gonna get a shower. Also, this is the brand new um, LV of Color Protect, the purple champagne. This is purple champagne. Gosh, dry January taking its toll. Um, this is the new purple shampoo they brought out for the LV range, which is perfecto for me. And tomorrow I have a photo shoot for L'Oreal for these products, which I'm really excited about because I haven't done a big photo shoot me in like a year. It's been ages. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in the shower and get myself ready for bed. I also have to show you Alex's new tattoo because he's just got himself a huge back piece tattoo and it's phenomenal it's so so good um he's had it done by a guy in london called yella i'll try and leave his link down below because this guy is really really good yeah so i have to show you i need to show you that anyway right i'm gonna do that i'm gonna get in bed and because i've got a busy day tomorrow and then after this photo shoot so of course i'll be bringing you along to that so see you in the morning guys Hi guys, good afternoon. It is, uh, it is the afternoon now, it's no longer morning, it's Tuesday. Like I said, I'm here on a L'Oreal shoot right now for um, finding it. Oh, here's one. Like I said yesterday, the new purple shampoo. But this morning I had a few meetings and I kept yeah. meaning to vlog and say hi and I didn't get any time to, but not anyway. So this morning I went and got my lashes done. I don't, honestly, I feel like a new woman when I have like my perfect lashes. So Debbie, again, a new lashes, did my lashes. As always, I'll leave her details down below. I know quite a lot of you guys have got in touch with Debbie about doing your lashes, which is amazing. So yeah, so that's what I did this morning. Then I went for a meeting with my favorite coffee company, Pret, just to finally meet those guys. So that was good fun. And then I went for another meeting and then I came here. So it's been, it's actually been a little bit of a hectic day so far. But it's just, yeah, I love these kind of shoots. It's got a full, full production set up. We're just doing some cool little videos for the new purple shampoo to show you how you use them and the difference it can make to kind of like dull hair to make it a bit brighter. So that's what we're doing. So I'm just going to try and show you as much as I can really. I mean look how amazing. I obviously because I was doing all my filming and I had it in my hair, I was lathering it up and everything. My hair now, because I had it on for a little while, look how bright and shiny it is. And doesn't it look amazing? I think it looks actually like so much brighter and cleaner than it did before. So yeah, it looks great. We are just filming the last few scenes now. I've just been chowing down on the new prep. What is it? Dark chocolate almonds and it's got a bit of sea salt in there. Oh my god, let's just eat the whole bag without realising. So delicious, so sugar diet out the window, <laughs> never mind. I can't get over my hair, look how shiny it looks. Right, okay, a few more things to film and then we're probably done for the day. Okay guys, so I am back home. It's been a few hours. 11 o'clock. I've literally just got off a two hour conversation with Rebecca, my bestie slash assistant, PA, VA, virtual assistant, as someone called it today. We just had the biggest catch up meeting two hours about accountancy stuff and about fashion weeks coming up and what our plans are going to be for the next few weeks. And I think I mentioned fashion, did I mention fashion week yesterday? Ooh, why is it gone blurry? I feel like I mentioned fashion week yesterday to you guys and we've been organizing it i'm gonna be doing a lot i'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff in london i think hopefully a few things in milan and a few things in paris i unfortunately don't think i can do new york this year because i've had a few things come in over those dates quite important to me and are uh, things i can't really turn down so i think i'm going to have to miss new york this season 
I'll be honest, I'm not completely upset only because it's so cold in New York in February. So I think I'm going to give that one a miss. Yes, we had a big chat about that. And then the last thing we were chatting about was the wedding. So my wedding spreadsheet is pretty great right now. In fact, me and Rebecca were talking about the idea that I need to start doing like, we're going to start doing these like wedding diary blog posts. It's going to be like the wedding diaries, talking through things that I'm planning, things I'm working on, things I'm thinking about. It's just going to kind of be like me putting down my wedding thoughts onto my my blog every two weeks. Thinking every Monday, every two weeks, he's going to be a wedding diaries blog post about something that I'm doing. Hopefully it'll help some of you guys who are also maybe in the planning, for any of you guys that they might be coming up for soon. So it's my, it'll also be good for me to kind of get things down onto paper, what I'm thinking about, um, a few insights into maybe my venue or food we're thinking about and all that kind of stuff. There's so much and I've got this spreadsheet and it was initially Rebecca's spreadsheet for her wedding which she gave to me and I've adapted and I've things in. So I think what I might do at the end of that is take out all of my stuff, keep the spreadsheet and I might potentially post that on the blog for the people to be able to download and then you can use my spreadsheet. Um, so I think that'll be, I'll probably do that soon as well. So we've had such a productive chat talking about this potential wedding venue that I love. I am speaking with them on Thursday to get it all ironed out and um, so we've been talking about that and how it can all work and the costs and everything involved. So um, I feel really good now. I feel like we've had a really good productive meeting. It's just been a good long day really. I got back from the photo shoot about 6.15. Alex made dinner and I've literally been doing emails and on the phone until until now. So oh also I wanted to show you Alex's tattoo. Baby still awake. Can you come and show everyone your tattoo? Come and show everyone your lovely back. <laughs> oh, here it is. That's good. Okay yeah let's stay there. So <laughs> so it is a full back piece. You little bum. Do you want to kind of quickly talk through exactly what the vibe is here, babe? In a nutshell, it's obviously to do with travelling. The two telescopes at the top um, like represent my cameras because I do all this travelling looking through a lens. Yeah. Um, obviously the ship. The big galleon here. The big galleon. Which is on the waves. That's your favourite mode of transport. Yeah, because we're always on galleons. <laughs> Um, you've got the two Lancashire roses. Two Lancashire roses here. Either side. And then you've got the Manchester Bee in the middle, obviously, because this is home. And that's on top of like the globe, isn't it? Yeah. A globe shape. And then below is my two favourite places to be, which is either on on the beach in the, in the middle of nowhere or in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. Yeah. Um, a big beautiful rose at the bottom. And I think I'm going to get homeward bound, written on. The ribbon. Just scroll a little Isn't it just absolutely amazing? Like, I think it's so good. Yeah, so very, very eventful day today. And I'm just going to go quickly get a shower and jump into bed, I think, and just chill out. In fact, I just put it on my Instagram. I just asked on my Instagram what kind of wedding content you want to see. And I've currently got so many oh my god wow oh my god how many responses is that uh, can you even see how many this this is a lot of responses so thank you if you gave me some ideas of what you'd like to see for the wedding stuff there are thousands of responses here so i need to go through and come up with um ideas <laughs> of what to put together for this i'm gonna get myself into bed i think so um i'll see you tomorrow Morning guys! Wednesday morning. The house is a complete and utter tip. I'm feeling a little bit um, uneasy about it today. Luckily I'm going out. I have a full day of meetings and I'm seeing my friend Nat later who is getting married as well this year. She's one of my bridesmaids actually and I'm her head bridesmaid. And we're going looking around silk and fabric shops for her so that'll be really good fun. I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit for today. I'm going for a bit of a black and yellow theme. So I've got my yellow shoes on, Chavito Rossi's, my Todd's bag, my black jumpsuit which is just that like go-to for any day that I can't be bothered to even think about what I'm wearing. And then underneath I'm wearing my Balenciaga jumper just sort of tucked in. Yes, super easy outfit actually, but and then later on I can I've got my strap inside the bag, I can put this off my shoulder, and I'm gonna take some little flat shoes with me for if me and that are gonna be bounding around the place. Uh yeah, so I'm ready for my first meeting, so I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, first meeting of the day. I am just at Todd's meeting the brand new team and I'm having a look at the Alessandro Delacroix collection with Todd's. 
So I'm just in the old Bond Street store and this collection is so beautiful. It's got a definite colour scheme. It's got black, brown and this beautiful very Todd's blush pink. This leather jacket, this like moto jacket is so beautiful in the details on everything. Windbreaker is also stunning. And there are some really pretty shoes in this collection, like these, you guys probably know how much I wear my Todd's Gaminos. These are like a patent leather and velvet bow detailing. It's got the famous Gamino sole, which are honestly guys, so comfortable. I love mine. So again, in the colour schemes, you've got the pink, the brown, the black, and then they've got some really cool features. I mean, look at these boots. Super short, but really cool, like unique sole to them. And they've got these little kitten heels. But I think these might be my favorite. Look how pretty, they're so me. Pointy toe, a super soft leather, and an incredible sole. Oh, I love these. This is my favorite piece, though, out of everything. It's like the most beautiful, like buttery soft leather, blush pink trench. How gorgeous. So, oh, I love these! Okay, so for any of you guys that may be buying online or coming in the store, I have gone a size, a full size down. So I've got a 36, and these are so beautiful. And these, so the patent version with the velvet bows. Also, I think I think these ones are my favourite, just because I already have a pair of Caminos that I love to bits. So these would be a little bit different for my collection. So I'm having a fabulous morning so far. Went to Tots, tried on the beautiful new collection. And now, um, oh, and I've just been to Chez Chez Le Coult to pick up my new watch, which I'll show you in a second. But I'm now heading down to Phoenix for a meeting with Three Floor. Look how beautiful this is. I've literally just had it fitted at the Chez Chez Le Coult store and it's so beautiful. Okay guys, I am back home. I'm already in my comfies. Got these new, um, like very like harem trousers sent to me from Gymshark. So I'm getting myself comfy and cozy now. So yeah, it's been a quite, it's been quite a busy day. Lots packed in. Like I said, I went to, went to Todd's. I went to Georges Le Coult to get my brand new watch. So what you can do, so this is a, it's called the Reverso Coordinate watch. What you can do is you press section of the watch out and it flicks around and then you can have it engraved on the back so I have mine engraved and it says the 20th of the 8th 18 which is our engagement date and then obviously just then you can just flick it straight back round again but look how gorgeous it is in this navy colour with the diamonds just here to each section and the beautiful blue face. I just am absolutely in love with it. It's the biggest thank you ever to Jeje Le Coult for this absolutely phenomenal gift. It is wonderful to be part of the Jeje Le Coult family, so I am thrilled. We finished up getting this fitted, then I went and met with Three Floor for a lovely chat. I love Three Floor, I've worn their clothing for like four or five years now, so that was good fun. And then I met up with my friend Nat. We had a look around some wedding stores because she's getting married too and she's designing her own dress, so we had to go look for some lace. So it's been really lovely. Now I'm home and I must admit I'm having a little bit of a fail, guys. <laughs> so as I kind of mentioned to you, I'm trying to get on this kind of like feeling healthier feeling just like my body is healthy in like completely healthy so I thought it'd be quite nice to maybe do a bit of a detox a bit of a cleanse a three-day cleanse on juices I realize they're very to a lot of people are unsure about juice cleanses totally get it like some people do it for weeks months on end and I have seen some of the results of some people that they get and it is actually amazing it can be however of course these juices are full of natural sugars and therefore a lot of people aren't keen on them so this this is what I've been drinking today. So it's called Plenish. Not sponsored by the way. So the, the idea is that you have six juices throughout the day to take. You're not meant to have anything else. It's meant to completely fully detox you because they're, they're packed full of vitamins and minerals and fruit and veg. Um, I'll be honest guys, I am absolutely starving and I'm such a foodie. <laughs> um, I just really want some food so i'll be honest i've given in and i'm gonna have some dinner but i'm gonna continue with my three-day cleanse for the rest of it and i'm gonna therefore see it as like my breakfast my lunch and 
and my kind of any other snacks it's not happening i'm having my cleanse but if i get home and i want a bit of evening meal i'm gonna do it so i'm kind of doing this somewhat half-hearted but well i'd say that i'm doing it kind of like a quarter of the way you meant no i'm doing it three quarters of the way you meant to do it one quarter i'm sort of slightly cheating i just love my food i'm a little bit hungry i want something to eat so i'm not going to punish myself so that's what i'm doing but i must admit i would recommend this if you are looking to do a bit of a cleanse the juices are actually not that bad they're really quite nice i mean this one is a spinach kale parsley romaine cucumber pear lemon and ginger one i'm looking forward to the one afterwards which is like the des like the dessert it's like cashew cashew and cacao and a few other things it's almost a bit like a chocolate milk so i'm looking forward to that one so like i said i know a lot of people aren't about the detoxing and the cleansing totally up to you some people like it i just thought i'd just try it myself personally to see how i go i've never done it before i'm just going to give it a go and do it to the best of my ability and just almost to like cut back and cleanse a little bit um i'm just writing some new blog posts i've got a blog post that i'm going to put up for friday and then yeah i'm going to get working on my um wedding diary series i've got loads of drafts written out of different things i want to talk about and what i want to cover so i'm quite excited about this and like I said, after all the uh, questions and answers and ideas I got yesterday on my Instagram DM, I've got loads of fodder to go off here. I'm excited. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. If you're not already, I do have a newsletter on inthefro.com. Pretty much if you're brand new to inthefro.com and you go on there, it should probably come up with a box that says, would you like to sign up to our newsletter? It's literally once a week on a Wednesday at 3pm you'll get an an email that's just got my latest posts in it so it's not much of a burden on your inbox and it just means that if you forget to look then you can um have a little update of what i'm doing on in the fro so it's super easy peasy if you'd like to sign up to that but if not it's just in the fro.com have a little look at what i've been doing recently so yes yeah, so alex is making a bit of dinner now and and then after that i just want to watch the more gossip girl to be honest i might do a few emails and get through some emails and then tomorrow um tomorrow i'm meeting with my wedding venue so in the next vlog you'll hear all about all of that exciting stuff i'm meeting with my dressmakers and my wedding venue so by tomorrow i'll know a lot more of what's going on with this wedding but it won't be in this vlog because it's it's the wrong day like you'll be seeing this so yeah very very excited about that actually super excited so i'm gonna carry on get working on this stuff get it over with and then i can just chill for my night then i guess actually this is probably the end of probably the end of this vlog for now so thanks for watching guys i will um i'll see you in my next one okay bye